Hello everyone, welcome back to Andrea Fontana Beauty. I know it's been a moment since I've been on here filming videos, but I had an unexpected trip to New York and then wedding season got crazy and I just kind of got behind. So I'm making a point to get back into the swing of things and I promise you I'm going to be filming a lot more because I really miss it. So today we are going to be creating an eye look. Well, we're going to do a full get ready with me, but I'm going to use the Star Wars Mandalorian, the child palette. I have yet to use this. She is brand new. Take a look at that. So beautiful. And I want to use the greens. I think we're going to use all, we're going to try to use all the greens. So like this whole side. And we're going to create some really fun looks. And yeah, I have a couple other products that I haven't really used much on here. I've used these products before. I've used this one before, but I haven't use this specific color. So Pixie was kind enough to send over their On The Glow Blush Tinted Moisture Sticks. And this is the shade Juicy, which is the orange corally shade. And then there's also a pink and more of like a rosy color. And I've tried the rosy color and loved it. And I am really excited for this one. So I guess let's do some makeup. We are actually gonna start with my brows. Let me zoom you in first. Okay, so we're gonna start. They're a little out of control and fluffy as they usually are. So I'm just going to take a micro brow pencil from NYX. This is the shade Espresso. Kind of clean up these lines a little bit, just like that. So after I put the product in, I like to brush up, just like that. So we get a nice, this is what I do when um, my brows are not freshly done. I kind of cheat and make them look like they're a little sharper than they are. Okay, I'm gonna brush through that a little bit more. As you can see, I have a little bit of color because I've been running outside and um, I was at the lake for Memorial Day weekend. So got a little bit of sun and a little bit of color. For some reason, this side of my face just wants to be really nice and red today. So we are gonna go in with, as always, my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer. I love this guy. Then, using a flat shader brush, I take the shade just like a Tatooine. I haven't even read the names on these yet, so I'm actually really excited. It might be a little dark for some of you, so I would say put it straight on the lid, and then gently buff it out so that it's not like too intense. Does that make sense? It's a pretty natural shade for me. We put it on just like that and then we, so we press into the lid and then blend it upwards. I am gonna take my blender brush and just buff that out. Okay, so now we've got a good base. Now what I wanna do is a slightly um, smaller fluffy brush. And we're gonna go into the shade Baby Face, which is this minty green right in the middle. And, okay, so I'm gonna start by brushing that minty green shade right through my crease. like that. That's pretty pigmented. So I'm just building up that green right in the crease. Just like that. We'll do the same thing on the other side. I'm honestly a little shocked at how well this green is picking up. 
because I just put a pretty warm toned, looks really cool. I'm surprised how green and cool toned it's showing up for putting on that warm neutral brown beforehand. So I'm kind of just like blowing that out. I'm concentrating it all the way into the crease, but then kind of blowing it out. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go in with Float Your Crib, which is this one right there. So it's a little bit of a deeper olive green. And I'm gonna deepen up that crease. Just like that. I'm going to go in with my fluffier brush and just buff out those edges like that. And then, what do I want to do here? I think I'm going to take my smudger brush and I'm going to go in with the Float Your Crib shade and I'm going to just like place it in the outer corner and then kind of like just buff it out. Do the same thing on the other side. Mm. And then kind of like buff and bring in. Okay. So it's pretty green. Now what I'm going to do, if you wanted to try to like tone this down a little bit, you could use the Force, which is this beautiful shimmery gold color, but I think I'm going to go in with Sipping Soup, which is kind of like a shimmery, it's not a lime green, it's like a light shimmery olive color. And I'm actually going to take that on the back of my ring finger and I'm just going to press. Press it into, press it onto the lid in the first like two thirds. Then I'm going to go back in with the blending brush that I was using and gently just kind of like blend out those edges of the lid color. So that's where we're at. I really like how this is turning out. It's like kind of green, but not like too green, you know, which is why I was really interested in this palette because it's not like a lime emerald, like bold green. It's more of a little, just a little more subtle. Okay, next I'm going to take a pencil brush with a little bit of Droid Protocol, which is the matte brown. It's not even that dark of a matte brown. And I'm just gonna like, buff that into the lash line. Just to like give it a little bit more definition, but like still keep it super soft at the lash line. Yeah, and then we'll do the same color underneath when it comes time. So I don't think I have any, I didn't get any fallout, but just in case, I'm just gonna clean up. For foundation today, we're gonna go in with the, actually the Makeup Forever HD, Ultra HD foundation. I'm gonna take two pumps of that on the back of my hand. And I'm just gonna dot Man, this may be a little too light for me. We're gonna see when we blend it in. Well, maybe not. A 
this is the shade. Oh, that's not the one I wanted to use. I wanted to use the darker one. Dang, okay, we're gonna put a pump of this and we're gonna blend a little bit of this. I meant to use shade Y375, but I used a one that was a little bit lighter. Yeah, okay, we're gonna put some of this more on the perimeter of my face. That one's honestly probably a better match for me. So as you can see, it's a good like, I actually pulled this out of my makeup kit. Man, every time I use this foundation, I forget how much I really do love it. I mean, that's just, and you can, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but this is like all super dry up here. So just ignore my forehead, okay? Okay. All right, now that that's all blended out, do you see how that like totally took care of that redness that I had over there? This is such a good foundation and I love the finish of it. Okay, so we're gonna go in with concealer next. We're gonna use, I actually have this Tarte Shape Tape in tan. It's just like a little mini guy from my kit. So, uh, that's gonna be two. We're gonna use medium, so. I'm going to put the slightest bit of shape tape under my eyes and just gently press it in. And then hit up some of these areas down here where I have a little bit of redness. Honestly, I haven't been using anything. It's, it's a little more full coverage than I've been using, so that's why I haven't. It, I feel like it probably feels like it looks so good because it's just like you forget how nice a good, a good fuller coverage foundation looks. Now, before I even go in and set this, I'm gonna use the Pixie On The Glow. These just like twist up and then, yeah. They're honestly really fun. I'm actually gonna apply it like this, just like that, and then blend it out. I just find that swiping doesn't give the best application. Or what you can do if you don't wanna put it directly on the face is you can like rub a little bit on your two fingers like this and then that's usually what I typically do with cream products. I just love a good coral when you have a little bit of sun-kissed glow. Okay, so that's juicy. I really love those. You can see they're really easy to work with, very blendable and very beautiful. Now what I'm gonna do is go in with some Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. And I'm gonna set just under the eye. And where, I don't wanna lose the glow of my cheeks. So I'm just going to set right under there so that it stays nice and matte and my concealer doesn't crease. I'm not putting any powder. I'm putting a little bit like right through the brows right here where I concealed. But other than that, I am not going to set it because it's dry up there right now and I just don't wanna mess with that. Okay, so it's reading. I don't know if it's like this in person, but I'm just gonna blend, kinda of set a little bit right through there. Yeah, it wasn't blended quite as much as I wanted it to be. So we set there. Um, I'm also gonna go in with, I'm gonna go in with my Physician's Formula because we might as well just like keep the cream products going, right? Cream blush. I don't really want that intense of a highlight today because the eyes are kind of intense. 
Okay, I'm loving this green, and I love the the green and coral together. It's really fun. Now, what are we gonna do? Oh my god, we didn't even bronze up the face. Honestly, I don't feel like doing it. I don't really want a super contoured look. I kind of love how fresh the skin is, and I like. It's another reason that I kind of like using more of a corally blush because I feel like it gives you some of that bronziness because of the oranginess of the coral. So it feels like I bronzed when I really didn't, which is kind of crazy. Um, and the fact that I didn't even realize that I didn't bronze. Okay, so we're gonna go back in with our pencil brush and our Mandalorian palette and go back into that matte brown, which is right here. We're gonna put a little bit on the tip and just starting on the outside. Just blend that in. Like the outer two thirds. Lastly, I'm gonna take right hand Mando, <laughs> which is this guy, and ever so slightly, literally took the slightest, teeniest bit and just put that right in my inner corner like that. Okay, oh, this is super fun guys. I really like this palette. For something, I was just drawn to it. I don't know why, but I was just really drawn to it and I'm loving how this is turning out. Okay, I'm going to spray my face with my Pixie Glow Mist. I'm running out of this guy, clearly. I use them all the time, I love it. All right, I'm going to go off camera, curl my lashes and put mascara on, and then I will be back to show you the finished look. All right, here's the finished look. I love it, what do you think? It's a little different. I like that it's green, but it's not too green. It's really, and I just happen to be wearing this uh, mint green tank today. So it worked out perfectly, but I really love how this turned out. I think this is really fun. I especially love it with a slight tan. I think it would be equally as beautiful on fairer skins, but I, I'm i really happy with this one. So if you wanna see me do another look with this palette, just comment below and I'd be happy to film another one. But I let's see, I used one, two, three, four, four, five, six, six of the nine shades. I feel like that's pretty good, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I use six of the nine shades, which I don't know, I think is pretty good for it being a mostly green palette. Um, and I like that I was able to create a look that's not too dark or too light with just this palette, which is really, really fun. So yeah, if you, Want to see more looks like this? Let me know. I'll make sure that you have liked the video, that you are subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss my next video. I'll see you later. Bye.